Hello and welcome to Monday Mail and Magazine, where we check out a vintage magazine and go over anything that came in through the mail or any stash additions. And we got a couple things in this week, so let's check them out. And move out the magazine for this episode, and we'll just check out. Did pick up a bag of random grills, bumpers, kind of the the vintage custom customizing parts. I kind of showed this in the earlier episodes as I was looking for some help identifying some of these. I just got a whole bunch of them. I started kind of labeling them and organizing them. So I have a photo reference in my phone for any time I want to use them. Or if I'm looking at some others, make sure I'm not getting too many duplicates. But that kind of goes along with our stack of magazines. I scored a huge stack of the little pages or pocket books whichever you refer them to but i ended up with 47 of them for about 40 dollars shipped in so that was an awesome score in my opinion i'm just gonna fly through some of these show you what i got first up we got the one lone duck of a volkswagen foreign car guide kind of interesting april of 1965 interesting little Volkswagen mag. And get into these other ones. We got custom pickups, custom hot rods, custom Chevys, trophy taking customs. My favorite custom car of all time, likely, is the Jade Idol. And we got rear ends and taillights, custom handbook number two. That stack. We got speed and custom. Check out that. Sweet custom. He's got everything going on under the grill or under the hood. A bunch of gauges, even some plaques. Wild custom. All sorts of custom books. I am super excited to get through. Lots of icons. This is a duplicate. A lot of icons and just cool, cool reference materials. Now we got custom router. really really exciting stuff in my opinion if you guys want me to check out a few of these on an episode please let me know in the, the comments got a large stack of custom craft i am super pumped getting these magazines not exactly all mint but still great source for just entertainment and reference and for less than a buck a piece, how can you miss? These are hard, hard to find, hard to get a hold of. And just an incredible source. Rod and Custom being one of my favorites. You got a Rod and Custom mini bikes. Nice Rod and Custom there. Rotting and restyling. Really cool shot. Lots of cool how to's, old school setups. Just all sorts of cool and wild routing customs. And the last title is Customs Illustrated. Some really cool. Some iconic cars in here for sure. See them as they were brand new. Up to the minute interiors. Great look at wearing interiors of the day. And there's the last one. A lot of them from like 60 to 64. A lot of the, the 62 era ones, which I'm super excited about. But uh, we can get into the featured magazine this week. Uh, one quick thing, if you guys are planning on getting into my group build, please get a hold of me. Reach out to me at my email, Instagram, or Facebook to get a link to that playlist. Again, if you guys are getting involved, please let me know and give me a heads up. And I would thank you for that. But now we can get into our model car science, March of 64, still going along. 
In chronological order, we have custom building and tabletop racing. Planning your tabletop racetrack. Cool little racetrack shot there. Grandstands and all the cars. Simple steps to build these great cars. Double threat vet, wildcat pickup, twister dragster, molded and roadster. And there's a nice little custom bubble top there. We have a Ravel slot slot car ad on the front cover. We got our model car science ad. Here is our features list. Cool stuff. Again, another great big deuce ad. Love seeing all those ads for those rare kits. Model mail, a few ads. Full page AMT ad showing off those 64 with the opening or operating headlights and taillights. Here we have the 64 Ford Galaxy. Cool little ad. Some track talk. A lot of slot car stuff going on. Strombecker. Red hot drag racing engine. Gas engine powered. Cool ad. Rivy. Cox Racing. Neat ad. New to scale. Got an electric pencil. There we have a Lindbergh 116th scale, I think it was. Really cool. Little hinges. Test block. Nice hawk ad for the weirdos. Drag hag. Daddy the Swingin' Suburbanite. The Digger, the Way Out Dragster. And Davey the Psycho Cyclist. Cool stuff. Space Age T-Bird. There's your cover custom car. Here's another exclusive Model Car Science Dream Car to challenge your design and building capabilities. A little how to build using the AMT 57 T-Bird. You know, 57 Chevy Revell Bubble. Bubble skirts. Nice little how to. Smoothing everything out. Filling in this, filling in that. Cutting our opening for our bubble top. Trunk lid work. Adding some of those big old fins. Try a molded in roadster. Hot routers everywhere recognize this sweet chariot as a drag champ. Here's how you can build the model. Check out the metal flake hot rod. A little mid engine uh, drag roadster. Cool little build. Using an iconic kit 29A. Again, smoothing everything up. Getting everything flushed out. Using a quarter as a template to draw your cockpit. There's your engine opening. It gives you a little test template for your tonneau cover. Again, smoothing everything up, getting her streamlined, setting our engine in. A nice Chrysler firepower. Coming along. A little shot of a Tony Nancy and dragster. Cool little build. Here we have our model car science contest winners. First prize and $25 savings bond to Elliot Andrews of Boston for his creative talents on this 62 Tempest. That's hard to recognize any part of a 62 Tempest in there, but a wicked cool, cool build. Looks like a rear mid engine setup. Classic AMT 53 Ford with all the, the extras on it. We've got the acetylene tank in the back. Cool little rig. A little 16 year old's Wildcat twin carb Chrysler. How about a 
Section 57 T-Bird. Makes for a cool looking T-Bird. It took more than two years for Dan to complete his completely wired and upholstered model. To date, it has won five first place trophies. Congratulations. Bare bones track attack. Nice little Corvette custom. Kind of a, a familiar look with a 32 Ford Vicky. Well done. Nice little 32 Ford. White corduroy interior and running boards. There's a wild, wild design. Grand Prix race car and a dragster. 62 Chevy 2 convertible. The Revell 63 Stingray engine. Great looking, unique build. Gonna edit this in. I thought this was a, a pretty good and fun little quiz. Just to have some fun. So if you guys are serious, I'm sorry. But I decided I'm going to read through these instead of just painting. So if you want to follow along, grab a pen and paper and join us on the quiz. But uh, let's get started. These hectic days, there's just nothing better than a brisk psychological test to help you morbidly investigate your own personality. For example, you may have suffered many sleepless nights wondering exactly how... You would measure up to unexpected pressure and asking yourself all kinds of leading questions such as, is a boy's best friend his new model kit? Do I tend to wig at the drop of an X-Acto knife? Am I some kind of a nut? Should I be more individualistic and switch to one one thousandth scale? What'll I do with all those leftover model carts my stupid cousin stepped on? The following self-test will probably answer your ruthless questions unless you're only willing to settle for facts. You'll notice below that each real-life situation there are several choices, including a blank line, for you to write in your own reaction to the situation in case none of the other dumb solutions happen to appeal to you. At the end of this quiz, you will find a scoring system carefully calculated to increase your confusion. Take your time, think carefully, cheat wisely. The answer you select may not mean a stinking thing, and that's why you are fooling around with this gig, so lots of luck. Let's go. Coming out of a model shop, you encounter a friend who, seeing the stack of model car cartons you're lugging, begins hooting derisively and making fun of you for playing with them little cars. Would you A, hit them in the mouth, B, ignore them, C, go back into the shop and hide, D, break his yo-yo, or E, fill in the blank. Number two. Your girlfriend insists you're spending more time building model cars than you're paying attention to her, and she says you must choose between her or the cars. Do you A, ask to meet her cute sister, B, give up model making, C, hit her in the mouth, D, borrow the price of another car kit from her, E, fill in the blank. Number three. There's a little... You invite some guys over to admire your huge collection of model cars, and after they leave, you discover several choice cars are missing. Would you A. Flip B. Wire the FBI C. Hit yourself in the mouth D. Calmly begin rebuilding the missing cars E. Fill in the blank Number 4. You're exhibiting some of your best model cars at a model show when the guy setting up his display near yours accidentally knocks your top entry to the floor, ruining it. Would you A, forgive him, B, pinch his head off right there in public, C, wait till later, D, stamp your foot on his whole display, E, fill in the blank. Five, while trimming a particularly difficult section of a chassis, you carelessly slice your thumb with the knife you're using. Would you A, bleed, B, start hunting for a band-aid, C, talk real dirty to yourself, D, call an ambulance, E, fill in the blank. C, or 6. A creep you know shows you his latest triumph. It's undeniably the most swinging model car you've ever seen. Better than anything you've ever built. Would you... There's the illustration. Would you A, praise it. C, spit on it. C, pretend you've gone blind. D, hate yourself. Or E, fill in the blank. Number 7. 
mildly bored with your with building ordinary model cars and hoping to gain widespread recognition you cleverly design and construct a 125th scale golf cart which doesn't impress anybody would you a cry b hit everybody in the mouth c modify it to a scale hearse d solemnly destroy it e fill in the blank number eight Attending a model car show, you accidentally step on another enthusiast's show model, reducing it to a handful of gleaming rubble. Would you A. Whip out your glasses and put them on. B. Apologize refusely. C. Cringe fearfully. D. Laugh it up. E. Walk away. I guess there was an illustration for that one. Number nine. You walk into your workroom only to discover your kid brother and his destructive little buddies have been playing there and demolishing every car you own breaking all your custom-made tools would you a shrug philosophically b flinch c sell the whole group to the gypsies d come unglued e fill in the blank number 10 have been duly elected president of a model car club you discover you're re responsible for just about all the crummy chores nobody else wanted would you a act like a rowdy hoping for impeachment b courageously res resign yourself to the chores C, swear. D, plan to get even with the graft. E, fill in the blank. 11, you've almost completed building the most complicated model car in your entire experience when you suddenly spot a terrible misprint in the plans you followed so faithfully, thereby making every bit of the car's construction totally erroneous. Would you A, seriously consider hitting the manufacturer in the mouth? B, pretend, to, pretend you built it that way on purpose? C, get fitted for glasses. D, sulk. E, fill in the blank. And number 12, you successfully built customized versions of every car known to the model room. And all of them have won first prize at a model shows everywhere. And to top this, all the manufacturers of model car kits have given you a lifetime supplies of their products, plus the assurance of free samples of all their future kits. And then you wake up from this Gorgeous dream, would you A, go back to sleep, B, go back to sleep, C, go back to sleep, D, take a sleeping tablet, E, fill in the blank. Wasn't that easy? Here's no. Here now is a scientific scoring system as determined by assorted model building experts, none of whom have ever constructed a scoring system before. Don't be elated or depressed by your score. Instead, get your friends to take this stupid test and make fun of their scores. There is the scoring. And E, if you score matches these choices, you're a guy who spends a lot of time messing around with model cars. If your score comes out any differently, you're not buying enough model cars. And if you wrote in all your answers, you wasted a lot of time that you could have been devoted to working on a model car. And shame on you. Moving on, we have the great customs and hot rods and how to build the, the models. We have the Asteroid. Nice little... Custom Corvette. There is the parts to create your version. Look at that little drag custom Corvette. Shot of the little tuck and roll interior. Very cool. Here we have the Undertaker, Carl Casper's Undertaker. Nice little shot of that. There's the, the parts to build your own, or you could just buy the now re released kit of it. Pretty cool. Double threat vet. Model car science customizers say two Corvette buddies are better than one. There's a little bubble top creation. And how they did it. Pick two vets. Splice them. Tie them together, the two front ends. Create a nice a little unique custom car. Getting her smoothed out, filled in. Bubble top added. Smoothing there. Creating your custom chassis. Creating a nice tail light lens. Making a little interior. Little masking tape interior. We got the make model the master builder and he is cartoon we'll pan through this guy for you for those that like to read it a 
Give me the credit for the shoot. Stretch out his name. I think he forgot to scale it up for the full size. And there's a few little club shout outs. Two Langley Twister, Model Car Science explores the new look in dragsters. Kind of a fully full body dragster. Kind of a neat look. Nice little fade job on there. Showing off their measurement and templates. Part two, detailing the J-Ray from last week. That Stingray and Jaguar combination. Winning Wildcat. This show-stopping hauler makes a great addition to any custom collection. Wildcat was a 54 Ford pickup owned by Martin and Morris Sraben. Original custom work was done by Sam and George Barris for about $1,200. An AMT 53 pickup truck kit makes a good starting point for a reproduction of this famous custom. That is a good-looking Ford pickup. Would be a cool one to replicate. And here is how to do it. So it's tucking those fenders in. Really, it's kind of a signature look there. I'm sure I will implement that on a build at some point. Tabletop racing section. How to design a slot course. A whole bunch of layouts. Easy to make 4x8s. Go hill climbing, cool little layout, all sorts of fun stuff. Even better when you have all the, the scenery and extras to go along with it. Really pull you in to a little fantasy world. Train tracks. Light up for action, driving in the dark aids, adds new realism. Add some lights. Using the old grain of wheat bulbs. Model car science track tests. What are we testing today? Revell racing body features new driver figure, roll bar, metalized wheels, inserts, and trim. There's Jaguar underside. And there's the track test data. Neat that they they do those kind of road track tests for the slot cars. Finding the center of gravity. How to get your car set up correctly. Tips from the pros. Twin motor rear drive. Twin motor four wheel drive, which twin has the power? Tune up and go, go, go. Little tips and tuning tricks. Like we're in the middle of a wreck there. Making the scene was a great looking kind of a village scene to go around your track. That is fantastic work. And professional ideas to help you have more fun. Otherwise, bear crossover. Just add some kind of rock cliffs, pit stops, trackside buildings, some general scenery with trees, pit road. Pretty cool. 
Slot Racers Workshop, new ideas in racing modifications. Mailing model cars, pack them full of peanuts so it looks. Two courses for the price of one, putting a track on both sides of the plywood. You can click on bolt and flip it. More efficient pickups for your Strombecker. How to mount a body on a Strombecker. Track of the month spotlight. Nice big freeway style racetrack. Pretty cool. Tabletop magazine. Dynamic models add on the back. And that will do her. Again, that was March of 64's Model Car Science. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you guys are getting in on the group build, make sure you contact me so I can get you that link and I can see who's all getting involved. And with that, we will see you later.